Win the incredible Steigercraft, Evinrude, Lorance Grand Prize Boat Package, and more in the Fisherman's 2018 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Get the details at thefisherman.com. Tim C. Smith here for the recovering Fred Galafaro. The opening of flounder and blackfish season came and went on April 1st, and then another snowstorm Monday. Fishing reports remain pretty much non-existent. I do have one report, however. Rich Figulia of Lindenhurst caught two 14-inch flounder on the opening day of the season in the western Great South Bay. The tide was outgoing when the flatty fell to a sandworm. Rich said that the fish was lethargic when it came to the boat. Maybe that was because the water temperature was only 45 degrees. Tackle shops have reported selling worms and clams for tog and flounder hopefuls, but nobody seems to be reporting back with any results. A pretty good indication that fishing for both species is off to a slow start. I'm not surprised given the amount of snow we've had lately. Several open boats plan on targeting flounder and blackfish over the next couple of weeks, so we should get a better read on the action once they get going. The newly repowered Captain Al will be targeting blackfish and cod locally on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, sailing each day at 7 a.m. The best chance for connecting with cod and other species like pollock, hake, and tilefish is to hop aboard an open boat sailing on one of the several long-range offshore trips. The Point Lookout-based Superhawk has offshore trips scheduled for 3 a.m. this Friday, 1 a.m. Saturday, and 3 a.m. Sunday. The Viking out of Montauk will be headed to George's Bank for cod, pollock, and hake. 7 p.m. this Friday, the boat returns 10 p.m. on Sunday. As of yesterday, there were still a few spaces available. If catching tilefish is on your to-do list, the Freeport-based Starstream 8 has a couple of spots left on this Sunday's trip. Two more tilefish trips are planned for this April the 21st and April the 28th. The South Shore Tidal Creeks have seen improved action with both white perch and small stripers. Most of the action seems to be in the Kinequat River. Mike at Saltwater's Tackle in West Islip knew of a 34-incher culled from among the smaller fish last week. We did get a confirmed report of stripers in Jamaica Bay, where one angler scored with over a dozen schoolies to 27 inches, and also some small fish in the Western Sound. Reports of good trout fishing are coming from all around the island thanks to the recent stocking of browns and rainbows in local lakes, ponds, and streams. And this Saturday, you'll have a great opportunity to sample this action. For more on that, let's go to Fisherman Senior Editor, Fred Galifaro. Yeah, Tim, that's correct. And we're talking about the Belmont Family Fishing Festival at Belmont Lake State Park. Again, that's this Saturday. It kicks off at 10 a.m. Sponsored by DEC, State Parks, The Fisherman, and Dick's Sporting Goods. Hey, there's going to be loaner rods, free bait. I do suggest you bring your own rods because the number of loaner rods is limited, and this event does draw big crowds, especially if the weather is good. Uh, the lake has already been stocked by DEC with 1,000 trout. State Parks is going to put in an additional 2,000 trout either the day of or the day before the festival, so there's going to be plenty of fish to catch. Uh, there'll be DEC and local fishing clubs on hand uh, to provide instruction for kids and beginners. Uh, they'll provide casting lessons, there's fish cleaning services, so before you go home you can have your trout cleaned and ready to put in the pan. Uh, no license needed uh, during the event, so that's from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. if you participate in the event. There's no, so no freshwater license needed for anyone uh, 16 years of age and older. Uh, lots of fun activities, um, so you know you can bring the whole family. Everybody can keep busy there. There's a kids uh, casting contest with some great prizes, and uh, it's just really a fun day. So try to get down there. It's a rain or shine event, so please dress accordingly. Thanks for that, Fred. And if you're looking for something fishy to do Sunday, don't forget the Patchogue Fishing Flea Market running from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. at St. Joseph's College. Many vendors will be offering new, used, and antique rods, reels, lures, and other tackle and equipment. Admission is $5. Kids 12 and under are free, and there will be door prizes every hour. For more information and directions, go to highflyer.com or call 732-330-5674. Fisherman is now on a weekly schedule and should be on the way to your mailbox now. Remember, like our video, subscribe to the Fisherman magazine, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for the very latest fishing news. Until next week, this is Tim C. Smith for thefisherman.com. Incredible Steigercraft, Evinrude, Lorance Grand Prize Boat Package, and more in the Fisherman's 2018 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Get the details at thefisherman.com.